was the last time you cried at the movies? Eighth grade. That was the last time? The last time. The last time I just... Oh, I thought, you, I thought you meant when you were in eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I think it's such an amazingly beautiful, touching film. It, it talks with such an honesty. And what the kids nowadays are going through is just insane. And the way it's done with this openness and compassion is, is, is a film that really moved me. I watched part of uh, the last little chunk of Roma today. I think just watching that struggle and you really feel it and there's something about the simplicity of it, but I think it's the joy of movies. I think that you can still watch something and feel connected to people. Roma, because it's an incredibly emotional movie and it's about family and loss and birth, and so it's it's got everything in there going from happiness to heartbreak. Roma made me cry. There are very sad moments in it. I cry in most movies. I'm an easy cry. If Beale Street could talk. Because it's just so painful to think that uh, that someone could spend so many years in jail for something that they didn't do, and I think that people really go through that. I cried watching Beale Street. The movie ended, and I was sitting, and I went alone, and I just started bawling. I felt so much for the characters, for the despair of the situation, and how much I could relate to them, even though I've never been in a situation like that. I was at Sundance, and I saw this film, uh, The Farewell, and it's really just about family, um, and in particular about a, a grandma. And uh, you know, I've lost both my grandmas, and so man, I held it in the whole film. Then the credits rolled. And I just like it was. I was a mess, bro. It's embarrassing. You know, it's not embarrassing. It's okay to cry. When I saw *Stars Born*, Bradley Cooper's character says to Sam Elliott's character, "It wasn't Dad that I idolized. It was you." And Sam turns around and backs that car out, and his emotion just—it still gets me. I have trouble listening to Stephanie sing without it getting me. I have a soft spot for female singers. I think. Mm. And she, in particular, after getting to know her a little bit, and I just love her music. The star is born, strangely. You know, I mean, I'm, so, I'm real sucker. You know, so it doesn't take much. <laughs> the last moment in Cold War, oh, it's terrifically moving. The last time I watched was actually Green Book, and I, I thought that the relationship was amazing. That scene when they're in the restaurant, and they all want to stand up for him. I saw a boy erased, and yes, it made me cry. Because of the situation of, of all yeah. those teenagers that were trying to play some kind of role and make them forget or deny who they are because of the pressure of society. And it just, it's, it's a big subject. Probably the Mr. Rogers movie. <laughs> it just sobbed, you know. And it just reminded me growing up with that show and, and the values of it. I've cried so much while working on movies, while working on this one, on Black Klansman, to think of uh, a rookie car take on a responsibility of trying to take down a clan and it being a true story, you know, that blew me away. Weirdly enough, I cried during Annihilation. I don't know if it was because we were so deep in production <laughs> and I was, was kind of exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> saw it. But I was just like, life is, what is life? <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I became a dad, I cry yeah. so much I know. more. I know. Right. Yeah, yeah. I know. It is insane. I cry That's actually at true. everything now, so it's really not, it's more, Exciting if I didn't cry. Yeah. <laughs> What's the last movie you didn't cry? At, I know, exactly. <laughs>